Um, my name's Stuart Tony. I'm a writer and broadcaster and the of stuff I do. Thank you for asking me here today. I'm delighted, really flattered and delighted to be the new president of Rapid I just need to go and find a copy of today's delivery. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I wrote this in today's Daily Mirror about Kinder Christmas, about the spirit of Kinder Day. Uh, here it is. Back the day born to walk the the hills. What I'm really delighted about is that the sub editors of the Daily Mirror have chosen their wisdom to use this picture at the top, which is actually of some of the trespassers fighting the game. <laughs> so I think this is, I should tell you now, this is the new logo of the Ramblers. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, but I knew it was in hand to hand combat in any of the beautiful and tight places. And so your membership to the Ramblers will get slightly more expensive, but we'll, with that, you will get a new goodie bag starter pack of very wire cutters, a balaclava, and some boot black for your face. Um, no, now I'm choking, of course, and I'm aware that in, in break at the moment there's enough division and, you know, there's enough anger and divisiveness. I don't want to add to that. But what I do sometimes want to stress is that, and, and, I, and I want to share with you this about the Roots and Rambles. Um, there'll be people in the show, some members of the Rambles Society, other people in the show, maybe a farmer's people in the show, maybe a landowner's. I can only speak a little bit for why I have a certain different perspective, a lot different perspective, maybe the original perspective on our movement, if you like. And I do think it's a movement. I think we may not all be part of the same society, but in a way, we are a movement. We're a movement of people who, I think, feel, you look at that and think, that is my boat ride. You come over, as I did this morning, over Winners Pass, uh, from the Hope Valley into Edam, and when that view opens up for you, it, something goes off in my chest when I see that view. And I'm sure you feel the same. And the idea that someone could have once said, no, I own all that, man. is painfully ludicrous. And I start from that position, and I make no I make mean, no uh, apologies for starting that position. Now, from that position, of course, people we now need to go forward and we work together and we're part of different organisations. But I do feel, uh, Helen said earlier about the National Trust, uh, that it's the National Trust, but a fantastic organisation. And in many people's minds, the words automatically, the, the, the scenario, the image is automatically associated with that. might be stated off to clean tea. And that's fine. And it's, but it's a lot more than that. And similarly, I think with the Ramblers, I think in the past you've said those words, and, it's, and there's nothing wrong with this, and if there is a, a certain, maybe you do think of, a certain genteel pursuit in the Cotswolds, whatever, and that's fine, and because that's part of what, I love that kind of walk. I love all kinds of walking, and I love that, I love, I mean, I think, you know, I think part of the problem in the past with the Ramblers has been the association of the word rambling. It implies in some ways losing your thread in the middle of an overlong anecdote. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer to think of the Ramblers as in Led Zeppelin's Ramble On. That's the direction I would like to take for. Um, but I did think this morning again as I was in Castleton, and I saw loads of people, young and old, of different races, different genders, a real diverse mix of people. Going in and out of pie shops, gear shops, clanking on the poles, getting on their bikes. Part of me thought, I'm not sure any of you would be here with some factory workers from Manchester and Sheffield having broken the law in 1932. I just rewalked the Jarrow March for my next book. It came four years after the end of The Jarrow March is seen in, in sort of what I call ordinary people and working people's cultures as similarly, perhaps more well known. Uh, iconic, I hate that word iconic, but an iconic moment of ordinary people's culture, particularly in the north of England, in the middle. Um, the Jarrow marches, are, by the way, no one is ever going to make a long distance march of the Jarrow march. It is not a <laughs> Do not think of booking your holiday around that, I really. Unless you're very keen of walking knee deep in red bull camps by the side of an air road in Martin Harbour. <laughs> and it's not going to be a long distance trail, anyone will get a back to But I did it, 1936, four years afterwards, the general marches, absolutely, as much as we think that that's an iconic moment of that movement, was a complete failure. They didn't get what they wanted, the Prime Minister wouldn't see them, and they, the petition that they handed in has never been seen since. Which is a shocking thing. But the general marches went and said, please, please, will you listen? Please, we don't want to cause a fuss. Would you listen to us? Benny Rothman 
and the 400 or so people from Manchester and Sheffield, exasperated by the heavy-handed treatment they've been given, said, I'm sorry, but enough's enough, we're just going to jump over this wall. <laughs> and sometimes you just have to jump over that wall. And I do say that, but I, I also want to be a bit terrible. I see perhaps that looking at me thinking, oh my God, you know, what kind of lunatic we are asked to be the president of the But I do think we should, we, should be, we should be aware, and I wrote this in the Denver this morning, that Sometimes we've got to be as much about defiance as daffodils, you know. I think we don't think that one. All those of us who love the high places, love the open spaces, have to start from a position of thinking, this is my birthright, and I want to share it with other people. <coughs> New Britons and old Britons, you know. All the people, perhaps the people who previously we have not been walking on the hills because they think it's not for them. You know, I think we must change that image as well. And so I know we live in a world of harumphers at these days, I think. This is exactly the same people who got on the National Trust case about, oh no, they said they've got to take Easter out of there. No, they did. As Helen said, there's 13,000 mentions of Easter. They did. There some people who should have been curtain twitching people willing to get on our case. We must not live in fear of those people. We must not live in fear of those people. And the same people say, whenever the ramblers say, we want to encourage people of different races, different genders, different. Oh, I'm on PC, got on our PC, got on our. I have no trouble with that. I think if we're going to, if we. Can help. We want people of, 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 of you know, a, a, an organisation that reflects the different modern world we live in. I want everybody on those cells. I want to see everybody on those cells. You know, I don't, I don't want to have a vision of a rambler. I want, I want to know not quite what that means, except it means someone who loves being out on the hills, on the canals, or through the passages, whatever. Um, I read uh, in the piece that I've written in Country Walking, of, uh, of what I've uh, something uh, they've been doing, I've been such an all-purpose media tart and hack, I've got to lose track, you know. But, um, and I said, I read, I read a, a website for solicitors in Cumbria recently, who were advising people on how they could fight their cases in rights of way dispute. And it was basically said, we help members of the public in rights of way disputes against ramblers. <laughs> and I thought, well, I seem to be in the almost unique position of being both a rambler and a member of the public. <laughs> and the tone of this piece, bless them, they were looking for these days of content, they were looking to make this thing more readable. But they were saying to, the, um, they were saying to potential clients of those, potential uh, users of their service, um, because you, if, you don't, if you're not ever vigilant about this, you could end up with a rambler in your kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> this is another risk for me. One of the reasons I go walking is to get away, not necessarily from people, but to get away certainly from the trappings of civilization. If there are any landowners in here, I have not the slightest desire to go near your microwave, or your oven, or your fridge freezer. Really, that is not my idea of a good walk. My idea of a good walk is King's Sky, or Wind Hill, or Lose Hill. It is not. I don't want to even get in someone's kitchen for the other day. <laughs> it's this idea that we are somehow as a group just dying to invade people's spaces. I'm really not. I only want to use the right of way that I my right to get to the places I want to go. I'm not there to, tre I'm not there to trespass, I'm not there to pry, I'm not there to encroach upon your world. And I think that's a really, really a slightly ridiculous image. Maybe people like Nicholas Van Hoogstraat. <laughs> I thought you'd go now. <laughs> but you know what I mean? And I do think it's about cooperation, saying I really have no interest in impeding on your privacy or infringing on your privacy or whatever, but I do have a right to be there and to be to go here to get to there. That's it. Um, I'm going to speak for honest, it's a beautiful afternoon, and I think there's other things to do, and I just wanted to say that I'm really as you know, as honoured to be asked for the present Randall anything I've ever been asked to do. I'm from a council estate in Wigan, and the, like a lot, like Benny Rothman, like Wayne Wright, I guess. All guys, unfortunately, but that's the way the world still remains. Um, but not guys, sorry, guys is not perfect, but all men, I should say. Um, but what I mean is that they too, they were from, you know, industrial black, but industrial Manchester, I'm from industrial wing. I'm not, I was going to say I'm not the man of all in terms of this landscape, but I am, I guess. Because it's as much mine, and it's as much theirs, and it's as much in, in urban, and this is nothing I'm very keen on. When I talk about diversity, I'm very keen on people realizing that the hills belong to urban and industrial people as well. You know, I, 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 you know, I have no problem with, you know, the countryside alliance or whatever, but I do feel, I should say, no, that you, you, this idea that there are people to whom this is the 
a kind of, this is our world and you don't understand it. I absolutely fundamentally object to that. I think some of the greatest inroads and advances, some of the greatest freedoms that have been won have been, uh, for the countryside and landscape and the British outdoors have come from people from urban and industrial areas. I'm not having any trouble with that at all. Um, so yeah, I, I, Nicholas Van Hoek's I'm absolutely finished by saying, when he famously in the long run, he takes 13 years, was it? Then Brown was for him to get that past that right play on. He, uh, he said, you know, I don't want the great to be watched. These people are the scum of the earth, he said. Well, I am absolutely delighted to be apparently, you know, one of the chief scumbags. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I'm here with all you great ones. <laughs>